This is a spread in my memory keeper for the week of March 25th. If you want to see how I pulled it all together, then just keep watching. Hi guys, it's Courtney from Poppy and Gray. Thanks for coming back to my channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may recognize my Happy Planner. Um, I basically used this from last July until the end of last year. And then I jumped into a whole new system at the beginning of the year. But I had really um, decided that I missed using it and it was an 18 month planner. So I pulled it out um, a few weeks ago and decided to try some memory keeping in it. So this is last week's spread or the week before the one that I am going to do on um, camera. And that was the week of my son's birthday party and um, I decided to do a spread for the week of March 25th, which was his, his actual birthday is March 25th. Um, so I printed some stickers from Beautiful Planning. It is one of her older kits. And I had both the Erin um, Condren sized kit as well as the kit that she had formatted for, for the mini Happy Planner that I used in my rings. Um, I don't know if she still offers mini Happy Planner kits or not, um, but at the time that I bought this kit, it didn't come with date covers, so I did have to pull some in, and I printed out my pictures. I think this week I just used um, an app on my phone to collage them, and I printed them like 8 by 10 size just on photo paper with my um, HP Envy printer and did them that way. Um, I didn't really feel like bothering having them printed somewhere like uh, Walgreens or Walmart and I don't have any paper for my sprocket at the moment so I just did it that way and it's fine. Um, so these are all my pictures for the week. I did want to say that for me, it's not so important that I have, uh, that the pictures are on a specific day necessarily. They're just things that I want to remember for that week. I mean, if I have a picture for that day, then that's fine. Um, the picture that I put down between Monday and Tuesday was actually on his birthday, which was Monday, and um, he had a field trip that day, but which both my husband and I took him on, but we stopped to get donuts before, so that's a picture of him like having donuts. And then um, that picture at the bottom of Tuesday, I actually did take on Tuesday because he took a nap, which is not a regular occurrence anymore. He just turned five and, you know, he stopped having regular naps at the time that he learned how to climb out of his crib. So I snapped a quick photo of that. Um, I finished, re I don't, I, I, I don't read as much as I used to and I Definitely, I mean, I listen to audiobooks, but I don't usually count them like in my read books because I'm not, I usually just kind of have them on this background noise. It's not something that I listen to with intention. Um, but I got the, uh, I checked out the audiobook um, from my library for um, Troublemaker by Leah Remini. And it's, I mean, it does. It is about her leaving Scientology, which I found find hugely fascinating. But it also is kind of her life story, which was really, really interesting. And she reads the book herself. Um, and those are my favorite kind of audiobooks to read. And, you know, so I highly recommend that book if you are interested in Scientology or if you find her, like, interesting or a fascinating personality. It was a really good listen. I think I listened to it in, like, two days. Um, 
and then I have a picture down on Friday it was um, like the last two this week and the week before had been like really really rough particularly the week before Rowan was on spring break um, and it was just a lot for me to handle and um, he I you know I've mentioned before that he has some special needs um, that sometimes require just a lot of parenting and it can be really really stressful at times and just a lot for me emotionally to deal with mostly I you know my husband is here he works outside of the home and he works long hours um, so a lot of the week it's just the two of you know Rowan and I and it had been a really long two re weeks and a really rough two weeks and I you know love this child with my whole entire heart and I think that he is amazing and I feel so lucky that the universe chose me to be his mother um, but at the same time if you are a parent of a child with any special needs um, you know that there are just times that you look at them and you wish that their world was different or the world that we live in was different or that you could make things easier for them and oh god I'm tearing up talking about it now but I was just having one of those weeks and I when I picked him up from school on Friday I just kind of lost it um which was hugely like mortifying for me I don't I I don't you could I think if you asked anyone who knows me well, they would tell you that I'm not an o overly emotional or an emotionally expressive person. So for me to be crying at my child's preschool in front of, you know, strangers basically was just, I wanted to crawl into a hole and die. Um, but I picked him up from school and there was another mom there who just, I mean, she's just super sweet and she kind of consoled me and kind of talked me down from where I was and, you know, we came home and I was fixing lunch and I heard the doorbell ring and I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was maybe someone selling something or one of our neighbors and when I opened the door there was a bouquet of flowers and some candy and just a really sweet note that made me cry all over again. But, um, so I took, that's the photo that's down on Friday, just um, to remind myself that, you know, there are hard moments and there are moments where I'm sort of really, really vulnerable when I don't want to be and that it's okay and that there, there are, you know, still good people in this world. Um, so I put that down on Friday. We finally started to get some spring weather and that's the picture that I have on Wednesday. I'm using just some boxes from the Happy Planner Colorful Boxes book to um, layer, and I'm gonna use them to kind of jot things down about that week. But uh, Wednesday, we basically spent the entire afternoon outside in our front yard, and he had all, you know, all of his favorite toys out, and I had, um, my planner stuff and a book and it was just you know really nice to spend some time in the sun um and then the two pictures on the sidebar are the one of the very first pictures of when he was born and then the picture on the bottom is kind of his latest like official photo so I wanted to, he was actually a preemie and he was four pounds and 11 ounces when he was born. Um, and I don't think that you can tell now by looking at him that he was six weeks early and just a little peanut when he uh, surprised us. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gluing the pictures down with my glue stick. I don't even have my tape runner, and I'm just trying to figure out like how I want to arrange the colorful boxes. Um, like I said, the happy 
I'm using Erin Condren's size um, kit from Beautiful Planning, but as many of you know, the Happy Planner boxes are slightly longer than Erin Condren boxes, so. And then we didn't, I didn't have any pictures for Saturday. Sunday, um, we decided to go to the zoo. We have a membership and it was our first trip this year. Um, so the sun was out. It was, however, bitterly cold. I think it was like 35 <laughs> degrees. But we decided to go anyway and just kind of get some fresh air. So there was um, one of the um, gorillas. I don't know if it was a gorilla or an ape, but she was just kind of lounging and chilling. So I took that picture because it was so funny. She was like eating a snack, laying on her back, not concerned about who was watching her. And then um, I thought, you know, that was just like hashtag unbothered. And then we um, went for tacos after. So that is our week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see more videos from me, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. Um, and I will probably do more of these. I really enjoy this. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.